So I am reading this book again. It's called Encountering Our Wild God by Kim Meter. Um, it is one that I find I have to read it a chapter at a time or pieces of chapter at a time. If you really meditate on what she is saying and apply it to your life, there's a lot to digest and pray about. So I want to give you a challenge today out of it. Chapter 6, The Wild Worship. In Revelation 4, 8, Day after day, night after night, they keep on saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, the one who was, who is, and who is still to come. She says in the paragraph below, If the entirety of heaven's host and all creation revere him continually, what is stopping us from doing the same? Why are we not constantly living focused in adoration of the one that we call God. And I challenge you today, what is your daily worship like? What does it look like when you are worshiping your God every day? When you wake up, when you go to bed, morning, noon, and night. And if that is not a practice you've developed, I encourage you to begin to focus your mind on worshiping your God. It's like when I tell my daughter, you can't cry and breathe at the same time. When she gets really upset, I, I try to work with her and say, blow it out. <sighs> you cannot blow it out and hysterically cry at the same time. And I would suggest to you that you cannot be downtrodden and um, discouraged when you focus your mind and your heart and your energy on worshiping your God.